Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you what is coming in the next two weeks, months maybe. I have not been posting too many videos because of I was working around in the house. Uh, in the office it got all very busy in my day job. And uh, i just been uh, back from holidays. So all fresh. I have some interesting stuff coming. And uh, well let's just start with the first one. Uh, like this one, it's an oscilloscope multimeter from uh, from FNFC, and it is the, the 2C23T. And well, FNFC sometimes surprises you, mostly not always positive, but I am going to give it a fair chance, of course. I bought that one myself. I have another one that was sent to me that is from Bestop, and that is also a uh, Oscilloscope multimeter and it even has a generator, I think. Waveform generator, so that could be interesting. Maybe we can put those uh, together. And another FNRC that um, I also bought myself, I think. It was in discount. I had some points from uh, from Ali, I think. And that is the famous uh, DPO X180H. And they sort of say it can maybe do a 100. 80 megahertz, but they don't necessarily say that. They say, yeah, it's within the 3 dB, blah, blah, blah. So let's see how that one performs. So maybe all three could be nice. If you like a little bit the uh, classics, I had very nice comments on this uh, Chauvet Arnaud, French old multimeter, digital with an analog scale. So I decided to buy another one look at this it's a yellow one it's full digital and i also have the full analog version so uh, yeah they are funny looking could be very interesting and um, got some older frequency counters uh, from septronics i already had an i think an older multimeter i didn't get it working completely but it's kind of very distinctive look and now i found uh, a frequency counter also don't know if it works uh, yeah the seller already made some modifications to make it sort of a power supply so I've no clue if it works or not what type is this it is the 8100 so could be interesting and because we are in the smaller older meters and I also have multimeter already from this brand it's the same one it's a pretty cool little devices, but they actually work uh, pretty good. Um, old multimeters. This is an AVO. And uh, yeah, usually if you turn them around, you have a smiley, you know, the big meters. This is the heavy duty version. It just came in last week from my local eBay. And the condition seems good because all the text is still to read. Uh, you can find a lot of information on, I think, on robertradios.com. I will put the link when I make the video. It And <laughs> a yellow meter, funny looking. It says uh, banana. <laughs> and it is uh, a banana. It should be working still. Um, if you like uh, ham radio videos. If not, you just skip it. But this is pretty cool. It's from uh, Retifis. And uh, they joined now with uh, Elunch. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. But this is the HD2 version. The latest with GPS. And it uh, should be able to do DMR as well. So it's an uh, analog dual band. And if you switch it to uh, American standards, it even do, does the 200 uh, megahertz to 20 something. I'm not sure with that standard. Um, so interesting. I need to read into what DMR actually is. So super, super starter video that will be, but it's interesting to see the device. Um, also, we already have seen the Raikaldana, the 1992 with the standard oscillator. Then we had the 1998 with, the, I think, the 04A, the better oscillator. This is the 1999 with an even better oscillator. I think it's the 04B. I'm doing this by heart, but it is a better oscillator. Cool to see the differences. I will open them. And also, I have a replacement oscillator for if it doesn't work at all. 
and that is uh, from my friend Steve G8 XGG and I will put links on that too it's pretty cool oscillator and I have something here from Unity which uh, is uh, the first in Europe I think so I hope to do that video soon let's have a quick look because I just can't wait myself the desktop nice in the case I like that really brand new they sent me this one for a review okay doesn't uh... oh it's even battery is charged look at that bloop multimeter it all becomes red it changes colors look at this very fancy voltage peak hold select AC mode frequency and one push gets us in oscilloscope mode so interesting from Fnirsi this is the more simple Fnirsi it's also an oscilloscope multimeter uh, switch it on Here we select what we want to do, oscilloscope, signal generator, or multimeter. Ew. Okay. Well, interesting to see what it will uh, do. The other near scene with probes, dual channel, and the. Well, it seems to be even though they are both uh, DPOX 180H. There are different designs from it, and I think, I hope, this is the latest design. And this is only on oscilloscope, but it should be very powerful. So let's see. So the 1992 with the standard or till later, the 1998 both already have videos with the 4A or the A4 mod, and this is the B4, should be very big oscillator, overnight, super stable, great to see close by. The Septronics 8100, very small, very specific for this brand, that always looks like this, kind of bluish. Almost electronic color this is, but they weren't all also wearing uh, black and a very very small Simpson. This is 710 and I already had the multimeter as well and they were actually quite good with a very fast sample so this little one could surprise us. And then the chauffeur or no it had digital readout with an analog bar and uh, that was very nice. And now I have the fully digital one as well. And the other way around. Uh, analog scale with digital readout also. And if you think, oh, the chauffeur, I know I heard from that brand before. Yes, maybe this will ring a bell. Very quick look at the Metavis HD2, brand, brand new. Is the latest, probably runs the latest firmware, but if, if not, then I found already firmware too. And it is the GPS version. And what I find with the TEF is compared to the other brands, it's always looks very strong. And I think it even has Bluetooth. Look at this. Cool. I didn't know that. Proper antenna, battery, charger, and special request and I did it a programming cable which is very useful if we need to program the DMR interesting so that is the update thank you for watching stay tuned and hope to see you next time